Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we will solve one more lead code question that is binary tree path. This is question number 257 and it comes under easy. Okay, so let's start with the question. So given the statement, given the root of a binary tree, return all the root to leaf path in any order. So a leaf node is a node with no children so here what we are saying we need to find all the paths which leads from root to the leaf root is something where we start that is the root and uh, the end uh, where it ends which uh, the node which doesn't have any children that is called a leaf node okay if you see three it doesn't have a right or left child right so it's a leaf node two doesn't have the left child but it has the right child so uh, two is not the leaf node so seeing five as well so left and right subtree is null so this is a leaf node so if you see the path one two five that this is one path and one three this is one path okay so let's discuss the input and output so if you see the input the root is one two three null five so this is our input and the output is one two five and one three okay so the return type of it is the array of string okay array or is the list of string so here they have given if only root is present then only one path is there so you need to return one okay now let's look at the constraint many people doesn't look at it but it will help you a lot okay once you look at the constraint the number of nodes in the tree is in the range of 1 to 100 okay so the number of nodes will be between 1 to 100 so we can use the data structure according to it and the node value will range from minus 100 to plus 100 okay so we do, don't need to bother about uh, like we need to have any large number of data set okay so let's see how can we solve it so once if you come over here the, you have two choices right whether to pass two or you need you can go through three right when you come to three you got an answer so you have a path so how did you find how did you find that three one and three is your path so you started from here and when you reach three but how did you know that you have reached three or you have to end it over here like it's the right and the left child of it it's null so you have to return it this means that we have got the path right so this will be your one path and we can save it similarly if you co come from left side so one you reached two but it is not the leaf tree right now we need to move on so whether you can go from here to here or here to here so even the, here it is no there is no path over here since only the left child will be null and right child will still have some data so you cannot consider this as your uh, a leaf node okay so as a path so you need to move on so if you come over five you have only one option now you need to come through five right once you come to five you need to check whether your left right and left subtree is null or not if it is there then you can return the path so the main logic of this is that you can keep traversing the nodes till you don't have any node that where your left and right subtree is null okay so let's start our solution so we will write what we spoke okay so we need to return the list of strings we just need to copy it will add it as a response we we'll create a new array list because when you created array list uh, we can add in any order the result doesn't matter it does not have to be like one three have to be first the small path or the large path it can be in any order so here also they have mentioned it should be in any order okay so for this we wrote a response which we have to return it now we take the help of a helper method like it response we will pass our root because we need our root right so we'll pass our response where we will collect all the paths okay and now we'll pass uh, we need to keep track of the in small small paths right because this is this will contain your whole path like one two three one four so this is result but we need to collect these paths as well right individual path first and then we can collect and push it into the list so for this as a temporary as a temporary path we can keep it like this okay 
now after we will uh, we will change the response we will internally change the response object and we will return it from that okay now we will create the helper method we are not returning anything for this okay we need to add tree node now we need to have list as a as part okay now what we spoke when something is null if my root itself is null we don't need to do anything now what we need to do we need to create our path we need to start creating our path okay suppose we came over here this is our root now we need to add it to our path right we need to append it to our path so what we will do and we need to add this arrow also so for the first and second in between and third and in between we need to add arrow so we can check if my path is currently empty so my path is empty so in this case i will not add my arrow okay so my str will equal to entry dot that's it okay else when i have something in my path suppose one is already been added then we need we will we will add not only two we will add arrow plus two so our str has been given So my path will become path plus my arrow plus argument. Okay. Now, what we what we said if our root dot left will be null, and and when our root dot right is also null, then in that case we got the path right the path in that now we will add our path so we got the path we will add it in the response now we will get the response for our root dot left okay the response will remove as a response For left and for right. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so so let I'll explain you how it will work. So let's take this example one two five. Okay, this is my node one. now come over here if we see first we will check if our root equal to null no our root is not null then we will check if our path is empty yes our path is initially uh, is empty string now what we will add we will append to this root dot value right so our path has one okay now you come here if root dot left equal to null and root dot right equal to null then we will add to our response which is the case it's right is also not null this is also not null we will not add it move on now we will get get dot response root dot left okay we will pass root dot left then response then path okay now we came to root dot left we came over here right our path is one right now if we come over here my path is one we will check my path is one my current root is two in the left side is my root null no it is this is not null so now to come here my path is empty no because my path has one right now in this case it will come over here we will append path plus arrow plus root dot value so here what we will do the new, the new path will become path which is one root plus this value two okay 
So this is my path over here. This is my path over here. Right? Now, they will come over here. If our root dot left equal to null and my root dot right equal to null, which is not the case, right? My root dot left is null, but my root dot right is not null. We will not add the path. Now, we will come over here. We will again have to go root dot left. So currently we are ever here and we will go root dot left which is null so we will come over here so my root will become null so we will return it from here right we will return and my path is one one and two right so we will return we will return over here so now this call is done we will come over here now two dot right so now we will come for five right will come for 5 so we will come over here my root is 5 my path is still 1 and 2 my root is null no if my path empty no so we will come over here so we will have the path plus this plus this value so we will come over here for this my path will become 1 hyphen 2 hyphen 5 okay now we come over here do we have the root dot left equal to null and root dot right equal to null yes for 5 we do have my right and left is null so this is my one of the path correct so we will add it in the response okay now we add it to the response so in, in my in my response this i got as one response correct now once you got the response this call is also done okay now we'll come over here right you can add a return as well over here. okay now this call is also done so now we will traverse back so for two left and right is done we will come over here so for this also root and right left and right is also done so we'll come over here now we'll come over here our the second is done left child is all done now we'll come over here the right so my root dot right at this point so here my path is equal to equal to one so we will come over here right but in the right part so in the right part my root node is three we will come over here my root has become three my path is still one over here okay once you traverse back so at here my path was one two and five here my path was one and two only here my path was one so once you traverse to the right from here so we need to pick this we, we cannot pick this so you can treat it as a different different path because you are making a different different calls right so this is a different method call this is a different method call so whatever you are passing it is local to this method call right so you have individual individual path value so now i have my path equal to one when i came over here for three for, for node three my path is one my root is not null my path is still not empty so what i'll do i'll append my three over here that is my root dot value so here my path will become one and three okay once it become one arrow three now will come if my root dot left root dot right both are null yes actually null so we'll add it in the response so in my response this will also get added okay now we can return okay so now all our nodes are done so we'll come over here we have updated the response by reference and it is done okay we'll run it it works fine let's submit it That's it for this video. See you in the next. Bye.